you do something every decade. Every decade, uh, I like to take up something new. So when I was 60, that's when I started to learn the saxophone, and I ended up playing a lot on Bert Newton's morning show then, yes. and I ended up playing with the Australian Army Band at their big um, concerts that they have in Sydney at the zoo. And, uh, and I loved that. Um, but then when 70 came along, I thought, what can I do this decade? So I started to learn to play tennis, and I just absolutely love it. And I went in the... Um, I was asked by the World Masters Games, would I play in them in um, 72? And I said, hey, no, no, no. I said, I've only been playing two years. And you know, you could be playing against ex-champions, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, definitely, definitely not. But they persisted. And he said, look, I'll come out and watch you play and see, tell you what we think. So he came out and I played with against my coach. Well, my coach knew what I could do well, so I looked pretty good. And he said, yes, yes, you can. So I did. I went in and it was a wonderful experience. I played a woman from Brazil and she beat me six love. I played a woman from New Zealand and she beat me six love. And I played a woman from <laughs> Australia and she beat me six love. Um, and the, the guy taking the um, score said, um, oh, there seems to be a pattern here, Lorraine. Um, <laughs> but even I was expecting that because, you know, they had been playing since they were 6, 10 and 11 and I started when I was 70. So, you know, you, you know what's going to happen. But I loved it so much and um, so I'm going in the World Masters Games next year in April in Auckland, New Zealand and I've had an extra eight years practice. So. And that means... That means that you are now an international tennis player. Yes, I never thought of that. Yes. I will be, yes. Just put it on the CV. That's right. And I'll, I'll be 80 in January, so I'll be in the 80 to 85 age group.